Hello again there, you APA baseball fans. This is Tiger Bob from Bay City, Michigan with Game 5 of the 1975 World Series as Boston is at Cincinnati after Boston won Game 4 5-1 to one to stave off elimination. Cincinnati does lead the series 3 games to 1. The Cincinnati took the first 3 and Boston bounced back in the last game 5-1. to one. Today's pitching matchup will be Reggie Cleveland, he is a grade, he's a right-hander, grade six, and he does have no, uh, no letters on him. Against Don Gullett, this is Don Gullett's second start of the series. He started game one, and he threw a six-hit shutout, and he totally baffled the Boston hitters. Back in Boston, we'll see what he can do at home here in Riverfront Stadium. This is Reggie Cleveland's first, uh, first appearance in the playoffs. He didn't pitch in the championship series, and... This is his first appearance in the World Series. So gets, let's get ready to play some baseball here in Riverfront Stadium with Cincinnati hosting the Boston Red Sox. Boston coming up to bat and with the left-hander gullet on the mound. They're going at the same lineup as they did yesterday with Beniquas leading off in left field, Denny Doyle, second base, Cario Skrimski, first base, Carlton Fisk catching. Freddie Lynn, he's batting fifth in center field, Rico Petroselli, third base, batting sixth, Dwight Evans, right field, Burleson the shortstop, and batting ninth and doing the pitching will be Reggie Cleveland. And Boston has a 41 team, 34 infield defense. And we'll give you the Cincinnati lineup when they come up to bat. So leading off here in the top of the first will be Juan Beniquez, and he is 0 for 4. He's batted four times in yesterday's game, and he does not have a hit. Don Gullett's on the mound. He is the grade 15 lefty with a Y. Here's the pitch to Beniquez, and we're underway. 63, 31, fly ball to Geronimo. Drifts over in the left center field and puts that one away. And we're underway. One out in the top of the first, and now batting is Denny Doyle. Left hand hitter, 5 for 17, hitting 294. 65, 35, ground ball, third base, Pete Rose, fire to first, two up, two away. Now batting with two outs will be Kyle Skrimski, another one of the left hand hitters. He's struggling so far, hitting 167, looking for his first extra base hit. Here's the pitch. 66 is a zero. Second dice roll is a 62. That's a 6. Yaskrimski bounces one all the way out to the right center field, and he legs out a double. Boston got a base runner, second base here in the first inning. Carl Yaskrimski double, and up steps Carlton Fisk. Can you get a big knock here to put Boston ahead? Here's the pitch. Gullet pitching to Fisk. 66 is a 1. It's far. It's deep. It's into the left field seats. Boston takes a two to nothing lead here in the first inning. And that'll quiet the crowd down here. Carlton Fisk, dramatic home run here in the first. As Boston trying to stave off elimination. Up steps Freddie Lynn. Here's the pitch from Gullet. Freddie Lynn, 32, 26, ground ball. Joe Morgan tosses over to the Perez. And as we go to the bottom of the first, Boston, two, Cincinnati coming up to bat. That is the first two runs Boston has scored off Cincinnati, Cincinnati's Don Gullet. Up steps Pete Rose off the grade six right-hander, 56-14. Pete Rose with a 56-14 for a walk. He's an R-14. So we're just going to swing away with Griffey. Here's the pitch to Griffey. 15, 15's and 11. Off to grade 6. Single to right. That's a 40, and with Evans' 38 arm, Pete Rose ain't going anywhere. Little single to right field. First and second. Nobody out. Reggie Cleveland in some early trouble. And up steps Joe Morgan. Here's the pitch to Morgan. 13 is a 14. Bases are loaded. Joe Morgan takes the walk. So after Boston jumps out to the 2 to nothing lead, 
Cincinnati coming right back. Up steps, Johnny Bench, bases loaded, nobody out. First inning, here's the pitch. 13, 14, Cleveland walks in a run. We got a two to one game. Still nobody out. And now batting is Tony Perez, infield deep. Here's the pitch. 31, there's a nine. Handicapped one, so be off to seven. Bases loaded nine, seven. That's in there. Single over first to right field. Single 38. Griffey's going to score. Then you got the 38 arm out there. You got Evans. 38. Minus 18 speeds. 20. 20 up to 38. They're going to hold him at third base. So they're playing one base at a time. And we are tied at two already in the first inning and still nobody out. And Boston has to get somebody warming up in the bullpen. Here's the pitch to Foster. Cleveland delivers. Foster, 25, is an eight with the bases loaded. That is going to be a single over short. 51 and 23 is the hit numbers. So single. Morgan's going to score. Left fielder's arm, 33. Minus bench is 12. That'd be 21. 30 chance of scoring. He's going to try it. 11 through 54. Bench is going to score. He's going to be safe. Single. Two run score. Perez stops at second base. And out comes the manager. Got to figure out what to do here. So we got a little timeout on the field. New pitcher coming in to pitch for Boston. The new pitcher will be Roger Moret coming in to pitch. This will be his second game in the World Series. Cincinnati has four runs in, and they haven't even made an out yet. Cleveland's taken out, and up steps Concepcion. First and second, still nobody out. Roger Moret has to get an out here. He is the grade 10 lefty, and he is wild with a Y. Pitch to Concepcion. 21 is a 30. Fly ball, left field, one away. Finally an out in the inning. Gotta somehow stop the damage here. We got the lefty on lefty here. More pitching the Geronimo, first and second, one out. 54, 32, fly ball, right field. Evans grabs it. Perez is going to stay on second base. Two away. And up steps the pitcher, Don Gullett. Here's the pitch by Moret to Gullett. 26, 24. First and second, 24. What do we got there? A little ground ball, short to second. The bleeding has stopped. The harvest is in. And Cincinnati has four. As we go to top of the second inning, four to two. What a first inning. Up steps Petroselli off Gullet, who has a couple run lead to work with now. Petroselli, 56, 34. Why man struck him out. First strikeout for Gullet. And up steps the right hand hidden. Dwight Evans. 31 is a nine. Off to 15. That's a base hit. Evans gets a single. Boston trying to get a rally going again. And up steps. Burleson with one out. Here's the pitch. Lefty to the righty. 41, 24. Ground ball. Up the middle. Grab by Concepcion. Over to Morgan. Flips it to first. Double play. And that is it for Boston in the top of the second. As we go down to the bottom of the second with Cincinnati leading 4-2. to two. And leading off, the second inning will be Pete Rose. He walked to lead off the game. Here's the pitch to Pete Rose. 52-27. Ground ball. Petroselli fires it across. One away. And up the bat is 
Ken Griffey, singled his first time up. 26, 32, fly ball, deep right, Evans over in the corner, under it, makes the catch. Gold glove outfielder out there, and up steps Joe Morgan with two outs. Here's the pitch, 46, 13, Moret strikes him out. And we're going to the top of the third. Cincinnati leading 4-2. And leading off will be the pitcher, Roger Moret. Snake Eyes is an 8. 8 off the grade. 15. That will be a fly ball to right field. 1 away. He made a bid to get a hit. Up steps Juan Beniquez. With 1 out. 32, 26, Little Joe throws it over to Tony. Two away. And now batting is Denny Doyle. Five for 18 in the series. Grounded out third to first his first time up. We got a 14 is a 30. 30 is going to be a fly to shallow left field. Foster under it makes the catch. And we are going to the bottom of the third with Cincinnati leading four to two. And leading off will be Johnny Bench. He walked and got an RBI his first time off. As he walked with the bases loaded. 54, 32, fly ball, Evans out and right. One away. Looks like old Roger Moret has settled things down a little bit here. Up steps Tony Perez. 61, 12, one hopper to Yaz. Race to the bag. Yaz beats him to the bag. Two away. And up steps Georgie Foster. 46, 13, Morat strikes him out. Second strikeout. And let's go to the top of the fourth. Big part of the lineup coming up for Boston. Yaz is leading off. Followed by Fisk and then Lynn. Here's the pitch to Yaz. 63, 31. Home, he doubled his first time up. This time up, he flies out to center field, one away. And up steps Fisk. Get his first home run his last time up. Here's the pitch to Fisk. 44 is a 7. Base hit left field. Fisk, second hit of the game. Boston in business again. And up steps Freddie Lynn. Lefty on lefty. Here's the pitch. Go it to Lynn. 26, 13. Fastball. Struck him out. Two away. And Petro Sally. Looking for an extra base hit. Maybe not going to run here. Gullet delivers. Petroselli. 33 is a 7. Off to grade 15. Man on first. Single to left. With the hit number 37. Runners going to stop at second base. So we got two on. Two outs. And up steps, Evans, with 13 home runs in a regular season. So far in the World Series, he's hitting 286 with a double. Gullet pitches to Evans. 32, 26, pops it up, high on the infield. Who's calling for it? Morgan, behind second base, puts it away. And that is it. Boston threatens in the top of the fourth, but they cannot score any runs. As we go to the bottom of the fourth, Cincinnati up 4-2. to two. Davey Concepcion, 56, 13, fastball, swing and a miss, struck him out, one away. Now batting is Cesar Geronimo. Lefty on lefty, 45, 14, Geronimo gets a walk, E28. He can only steal with two outs, so there's only one out. Gullet's going to try and bunt him over. Sacrifice, 36, 33 on a sacrifice. That'll be the third baseman. 26 will be fielding one. Runner out at second. Petro Sally grabs it, fires over the shortstop. Burleson beats him to the bag. What a play. Fielder's choice. That is two away. And that keeps the runner on first base, who is gullet, who is fast. Pete Rose 
hitting 429 in the series. Here's the pitch to Pete Rose. 46, 13. Curveball struck him out. Nasty pitch. As we are going top of the fifth, Boston trailing by two in a must-win game. So Boston has to somehow muster up some offense. Leading off is Burleson. 15 is a 10. Off to grade 15 as he is not handicapped. 10 to 34. Pop out to the shortstop. One away. I thought about it and they are going to let... Moretz gonna he's gonna stand. He's gonna bat for himself. 21, 13, struck him out. Wanna stretch him out to a couple more innings. And up steps Juan Beniquez with two outs. 26, 24, ground ball, shortstop, Concepcion, fires it across. And that is it for Boston. As we go to the bottom of the fifth. Up steps Ken Griffey. 125. He's 2 for 16 in the World Series. 66 is a 0. 35. Swings. That ball is down the line. Down in the right field corner. Griffey. He's rounding second. He's going to go for third. There will not be a throw. We have a leadoff triple for Griffey. Showing the speed. Now we got Joe Morgan up. Boston can't afford to give up any more runs. They're actually going to bring the infield in. Lefty on the lefty, pitching to Morgan. 42-14. Misses. Morgan gets to walk. First and third. Yeah, they're going to back the infield up now. They're going to, hopefully, they're hoping Johnny Bench will bounce into the double play. Kind of slow things down a little bit. Here's the pitch. More at the bench. 26, 13, fastball, strike three. Woo. Bench didn't like that one. As he slowly walks back to the bench, barking at the umpire a little bit. And up steps Tony Perez. Now they're playing deep. Looking for two. Moret delivers. 63, 13, fastball, struck him out. Two strikeouts in a row. As he is trying to get out of trouble here. And up steps Foster. One more out to get out of the situation here. Lefty throwing to the right hand, hitting Foster. 43, 29, first and third. Back to the pitcher, Moret. Over to Yaz, got him. Cincinnati, all kinds of threatening. But they cannot score. And we're going to go to the top of the six. Boston still trailing by two. And leading off will be Denny Doyle. Gullet delivers. Lefty on lefty. Denny Doyle, 45-14. Doyle gets a walk. Now batting. Yaz. Carl Skrimsky. Gullet delivers. Lefty on lefty. 44 is an 8. 15 becomes a 16 on the 8. 33, pops it up, third base, Pete Rose over, grabs it. One away, and up steps Fisk. He has a home run and two RBIs, and then he singled his last time up. What can he do this time? Can he hit the blast to tie it up? Here's the pitch to Carlton Fisk. 34, 31, deep, center field, drawing him under it. Makes the catch. Two away. And the guy they were counting on to have a big series here without Jim Rice in the lineup. They're really counting on Freddie Lynn to do some things. And so far, he's 4 for 18 for a 222 batting average. They really need a big hit out of Freddie Lynn right now. Lefty on lefty. Here's the pitch. Freddie Lynn. 24, 13. Struck him out. Not this time. And we're going down to the bottom of the sixth in Boston, starting to run out of outs. Leading off in the bottom of the sixth will be Davey Concepcion. Moret still out there, pitching to Concepcion. 24, 32, fly ball, right field. Evans drifting out the right center. Makes the catch. One away. Now we got Geronimo. 
He walked his last time up and he floored his first time up. 61. 61's a 12. One hopper to Riaz. Race to the bag. Two away. And up steps Gullet. And he gets a good, good ovation so far. After the two run homer in the first, he's pitching a really good game. Here's the pitch. 62. 13. Morette strikes him out. Seventh strikeout for Morette. As we go to the top of the seventh, Cincinnati leading. 4-2 in the fifth game of the 1975 World Series. Leading off for Boston here in the top of the seventh is Rico Petroselli. Struck out and a single today. Gullet delivers to Petroselli. 44 is an 8. Off the grade 15 pitcher. That'll be a fly ball to right field. One away. Dewey Evans. Boston has to get some runs on the board. Evans, 12, 25. Morgan, two, two hopper to Morgan. Throws him out. Two away. Now batting is Burleson. 55 is an 8. Off to grade 15 pitcher. Fly ball, right field. Three away. As we are going to the bottom of the seventh, with Cincinnati leading four to two. Here in the bottom of seventh is when I do the shameless plug. If you enjoy what you're watching or listening to, you like to hear more of it. If you could uh, hit subscribe or hit a like if you like what you're doing, or maybe even make a comment if you want to see another series played here, just let me know. So just hit like or subscribe, and here we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Leading off at the bottom of the seventh is Pete Rose. Is Roger Moret has pitched six strong innings, so far only given up one hit with set, two walks and seven strikeouts. Up steps Pete Rose, 52, 27, ground ball, Petroselli, throw the first, one away. Now batting is Ken Griffey. Two for three today. Pitch to Griffey. 55. 55 is an eight. He's handicapped three. The 10 becomes a 13, and that becomes a fly out to center field. Two away. Now we got little Joe Morgan. Little P. Morgan batting. 54, 32. Little fly ball out there. Evans diving. Catch. Oh, coming, flying, and he made the catch. They thought it might have hit the ground, but it didn't. We are going to the top of the eighth. Boston, down by two, has to put a rally together. And they'll probably be looking for a pinch hitter. Leading off for Boston in the top of the eighth inning. Six outs away from the eliminated will be, the, pin, the pinch hitter will be, the right hand hitting, Darren Johnson. He has some power to him, so he had 19 home runs in the regular season. Gullet delivers to Darren Johnson. 64, 13, fastball, struck him out. Now batting with one out here. Top of the eighth is Juan Beniquiz. 46, 24, ground ball, shortstop, Concepcion. Over to first, two away. And Denny Doyle, lefty on lefty. Gullet has thrown another masterpiece today. Here's the pitch to Doyle. 36, 33, Y-Man struck him out. And we are going to the bottom of the eighth inning, and this stadium is getting loud here in Riverfront Stadium. Leading off for them will be Johnny Bench here in the bottom of the eighth. Just got today's attendance, and at Riverfront Stadium today, they packed in 56,393 fans in here today. And you can hear every one of them. Here's the pitch to Johnny Bench. 26, 13, struck him out. Johnny Bench strikes out against the new pitcher, Jim Willoughby. One away. Up steps Tony Perez. Willoughby is a grade eight right-hander. Here's the pitch to Perez. 61, 61 is a 12. That's the bouncer to first base. Two away. 
And now batting is George Foster. Here's the pitch to Foster. 62-13, curveball, struck him out. And we are going to the top of the ninth. Here we are in the top of the ninth inning. Yaz, Fisk, and Freddie Lean coming up to bat. Don Gullett, he's going to stay in the pitch the ninth inning. One, two, three, he's pitched seven straight innings without giving up a earned run. So he goes up to a grade 20 here in the ninth inning. So grade 20, Don Gullett on the mound. He's pitched to 29 batters, so he's still he's still strong enough to pitch this inning. So leading off for Austin in the top of the ninth inning, on the verge of being eliminated. Cincinnati fans are getting ready to celebrate. Here's the pitch. Gullet pitching to Skrinski. 63-31. Fly ball. Center field. Geronimo under it makes the catch. One out. Top of the ninth. All six runs scored in this 4-2 game were all scored back in the first inning. And two of them was on a home run by Carlton Fisk. And here's the pitch to Fisk. 44-7. Base hit. Carlton Fisk. Boston showing a little bit of life. And now batting is Freddie Lynn. Can the MVP slash rookie of the year put on a big swing here. Ninth inning. Here's the pitch. Gullet. Pitching to Freddie Lynn. 35. 35 is a 9. 15 becomes a 16 off the grade. 9. Single. He beats it out at first base. We got two base runners on here in the ninth inning. And there's going to be a mound visit. Sparky has asked for the ball from uh, Don Gullett, who pitched a heck of a game, but ran out a little gas here in the ninth inning. And they're going to bring in Raleigh Eastwick to try and get the last two outs and save the game. And they have the World Series championship here for the Cincinnati Reds. And coming up to bat for Boston will be Cecil Cooper. He's coming off the bench to pinch hit for Petroselli. So a lot of, lot of moving parts right here. So Boston down by two in the top of the ninth. So we got first and second, one out. Eastwick and he's all warmed up. Cooper. Here's the pitch to Cecil Cooper. 25 is an 8. 8 off the grade 20 is a 28. So that is a ground ball to the shortstop, Concepcion. Concepcion's going to be fielding one. Ground ball to Concepcion. Grabs it. Over to Morgan. Fires over to Perez. Double play. And all the Cincinnati Reds are coming running on the field. They are celebrating a World Series championship here in Cincinnati. As they have beaten the Boston Red Sox. Four to two, scoring four runs in the first inning before they made an out, and Gullet made it hold up. So that is it. Four to two, Cincinnati beats Boston four games to one, and we'll be back in a minute with the happy totals for the Cincinnati Reds. So Cincinnati is celebrating their third World Series as they uh, they won the famous World Series back in 1996 in the Black Sox scandal. Then in 1940, they beat my beloved Tigers four games to three. And this was their third trip to the World Series. And the third World Series, they have won. So quite a celebration going on out there. And we'll be back in a minute with a recap of the game. So the star of this game and the star of the World Series would be Don Gullett, the left-hander. Two, started two games and won them both. And today he pitched eight in the third innings, gave up seven hits, two runs. That was a two-run home run in the first. One walk and six strikeouts. Eastwood come in here to get his third save for Boston. Cleveland started the game. He pitched to six batters, gave him three hits, three walks, didn't get anybody out. They brought in Roger Moret. Seven innings, one hit, seven strikeouts, did great, and Willoughby pitched the last inning. Boston had a good day from Carlton Fisk. He had he had three hits and he had the two run homer. Ken Griffey had two hits for Cincinnati, but they were able to between some walks and some hits score those four runs in the first. And Don Gullett made them stand up. So what a what a World Series! Boston cannot get it done today, and Cincinnati wins four games to one. Find a few statistics here from the World Series. Uh, Cecil Cooper, he led the Boston Red Sox with six hits. Him and Fisk each had six hits. 
Lynn and Doyle both had five hits. Boston did 225 as a team, and they had four home runs. They scored 13 runs in the series. Best pitcher was actually Morat. He pitched a total of 10, 10 innings without giving up a run. And Tiant got the win. So in the five games, Cincinnati had two home runs. They had a home run from Foster and one by Morgan. And they hit a 240, 247 as a team. Top hitters was Pete Rose, George Foster, and Johnny Bench each had six hits. The star of the series and the MVP of the series will be Don Gullett. He was 2-0 with an ERA of 1.04. His bullpen was solid with Raleigh Eastwood getting three saves out of the bullpen. So that is it here from Riverfront Stadium on August 15, 1975 at Cincinnati. Wins Game 5, 5-1. Five and closes out the World Series four games to one. If you followed along, hope you enjoyed. You can always hit like or subscribe. And as I say, always keep playing APA. You never know what might happen. Good night.